good crowd here. Star for entertainment in this neck of the woods, I guess. <laughs> Most of the guys have a, a, a broke, broken down, beat up jalopy of some sort they can't even dress in. This is pretty luxurious for a cowboy entertainer. This kind of accommodation is not the typical, not typical at all. Very luxurious. Slim showed up. Nothing we can do. Too late. Show's going on anyway. Let's stand over here. Let's see what's in my eyes. If it is, no. not quite right. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Please make welcome one of the most original and beloved cowboy entertainers of our time. Oh boy. The one and only Sourdough Slim. Am I going to be in the limelight? Right there. Perfect. Perfect. Music has been a part of my life as far back as I can remember. My mother introduced me to the steel guitar at the age of six. And uh, I went from there. I grew up on a ranch in Northern California, so I naturally was gravitated towards Western music, and uh, I've been doing that for uh, 50 years now, playing Western music, and I love it. I love it every day. I wake up waiting, not waiting, but waiting. wake up uh, looking forward, playing my accordion or guitar, or just yodeling to the stars, anything like that. I went to the Cowboy Poetry Gathering in Elko, Nevada and uh, performed my act, of course, for the very uh, appreciative folks there. And it became obvious to me and my wife that uh, it was either sink or swim. I, I needed to either go full-time as a musician at the age of 40 and give up my full-time job at UPS or continue at UPS and just be a part-time musician the rest of my life. The opportunity was there, and I seized it, and I've never looked back. Not once. I enjoy all kinds of music, but I really prefer the music that was uh, uh, coming out in the 1920s and 30s. And I don't just mean Western music, I mean all kinds of music. Very creative time in our culture, and uh, the music that was going on there was at that time was just phenomenal. When I was about uh, 20 years old, 21, I uh, came upon Jimmy Rogers, some uh, reissues of Jimmy Rogers' music, the great uh, yodeling uh, brakeman or the blue yodeler, who
who was very popular in the late 20s and early 30s. And I also came across some Bob Wills and his Texas Playboys. And uh, when I heard that music, that was it. That was for me. And I, I, uh, I loved it. it. It was probably the biggest influence on me uh, in my entire career was Jimmy Rogers and Bob Wills. When I heard that music, that's what I gravitated towards. And of course, Bob Wills was inspired by all of the musicians of the day, whether it was Louis Armstrong or uh, some of the great blues people and the fiddle players, guys like Stefan Grappelli and, and uh, Joe Hawley and different people like that. Um, Jimmy Rogers, the same thing. Jimmy Rogers, his hero was Gene Austin, the great pop singer. And uh, he strove to be a pop singer, but uh, he was uh, from a rural background and he loved the blues and a lot of the people that he'd listened to were, were blues musicians. And, and so he, he came, came off being the father of country music. I grew up on a ranch, uh, my grandfather's ranch. I didn't live there all the time, but I spent a good deal of time there. And it was probably the greatest inspiration uh, in my life as far as uh, the direction that I took. And I've always uh, been drawn towards uh, uh, the land and the West and the music and the culture that has come from that. That's been something that I've always uh, been very passionate and very interested in and that's that's why I do what I do. <laughs> when it's twilight on the trail and I jog along the world is like a dream and the ripple on the stream is my song My ceiling is the sky, and the grass on which I lie is my floor. Never ever have a nickel in my jeans. Never ever have a pet to pay. Still I understand what real contentment means. Yes, I was born that way When it's twilight on the trail And my voice is still Please plant this heart of mine Underneath the lonesome pine on the hill Music is my life. Uh, I don't know why I was uh, put on this earth to play music. I just know that I love it and that's what I do. It brings joy to people. And uh, of course, I'm a natural born ham. So. Excuse me once again. This won't take long this time because I've got a. <laughs> what could be simpler than that? Well, I've been very fortunate in my career to get to play some of the biggest uh, venues in the country, like Carnegie Hall and uh, the Lincoln Center and the Kennedy Center, not to go on and on and on, but uh, uh, those have certainly been career highlights, um, to have your star on your dressing room. But uh, I don't know, you know, probably one of my favorite places to play is the National Cowboy Gathering in Elko, Nevada. Now those are my people. And you get up on stage in front of an auditorium full of people like that, and they're going crazy for what you're doing. And they know, you know that uh, you're connecting with them. That's a moment.
Well, you know, I've, I've written a lot of songs uh, in my day, and uh, I have a few favorites. Um, Yodeling Bill has been awful good to me, uh, I guess because it's a, it's a yodeling uh, standout there, and I'm pretty good at yodeling. Yodeling is easy. I hate to divulge the secrets because, of course, it completely de demystifies what I'm doing. Uh, people uh, tend to not uh, uh, think so highly of me, but uh, I'll do it. Start out with uh, your first two vowels, A and E, and you simply break your voice between the two. I will demonstrate. A, 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 A. A to E. You get that little break in there, okay? That's the secret. A, A, A. Throw the word yodel in front of that. Yodel A, yodel A. See, nothing to it, huh? We're halfway done with everything I know about yodeling, huh? Can you believe it? All right, the other important vowel is O. You simply stretch it out. O, 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 O. <laughs> Isn't that nice? All right, throw the word yodel in front of it. yodel yodel Simple, nothing to it. Easy. Throw, put the two together, it would sound like this. yodel yodel Okay? yodel yodel Now we simply add a consonant at the end. D, T, Z, you could use any consonant. We'll use D, it'll sound like this. Nothing to it, huh? How could it be simpler than that? You get more proficient at it, more comfortable, speed it up a little bit. Cowboy entertainer, that's what I am. I love it all, it's a challenge, I tell you. I love the music, of course, obviously, and I love the, the culture and everything that goes along with it, but the thing that I really get a kick out of, you never know what you're getting into with these, with these shows, and I travel all over the country, and, and sometimes they're repeat performances, but many times you never know what you're getting into. Sometimes you can get in front of an audience that is a real challenge, uh, particularly county fairs or uh, corporate events or events where people haven't necessarily come just to see you. And the challenge is, can you win these people over with an outfit like this on and an accordion? You know, can you do it? <laughs> and when you do that and you win them over wholeheartedly, you can go home or go back to your hotel room, whichever it is, and you feel pretty good. You say, I did a good job, you know, I, I feel pretty good. I, I met the challenge, I won them over, and that's what it's all about. One
dollar bill showering my feet at this uh, uh, 50 and a quarter. Uh, you got a nickel? Uh, anything will help. Thank you. I'm just kidding. <laughs>